Hey, uh, Kevin, you want to tell me what we're doing here? Yeah. Pulling our hair out. Oh, yeah. We're uh, scraping the hair off of a hide that's been soaking in just water for a little over a week. We've got to get all the hair off of it, and then we're probably going to soak it again until we get it up on the yet-to-be-built uh, frame to stretch it and dry it. Um, but this is this is a big job right here, is getting the hair off of this. Yeah, it's going to take a while. That one wasn't coming out as easy as that. Now we are putting the hide on the frame, and we will soon begin stretching said hide. I think it's a few. The reason for this exercise is to make our parchment, which we will be writing on for the manuscript. We're actually scrapping the manuscript project and we will be making a drum. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> like a window. <laughs> It'd be a good picture. Too bad I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have junior standards? You want to you wanna yeah. cut that out? Yeah. You cut it out. Oh boy, play nice. Boys, cut it out. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. No, you're fine. I have to draw it. I'm having horrible flashbacks from the drywall. There used to be a pair on top. There's a lovely smell happening over here. Yeah, you're welcome. So we've moved on to the carving stage of the project. To do this, we will be using a what's called a Dremel tool, which is just a high-speed rotary tool. Um, on the end of that is connected uh, what is called a stylus pin and the motor in the Dremel will actually run the pin uh, through that cable. We'll be starting with this uh, very coarse bit um, and we will be using that to trace a very very um, a very very light outline uh, of what we have and then after that we will go back and, and carve it uh, to a deeper level later but to start with we're going to be using uh, this bit to begin with. to make colored ink which is far more difficult than making black ink because most of the thickening agents we have being alcohols are black. Also blue dye is very rare and very expensive. So we are trying to make red ink by pomegranates because they're red. I think it's gonna be more of a purple. And raspberries because they're also red. And This one looks like it'll be really red. We're going to attempt to make blue by blackberries. Not entirely sure it'll work but it might. I'm hoping. And if all green by spinach, because it's green, chlorophyll. And we might attempt to make blue by copper, which in solution is blue. Probably just thicken it, adding egg white. Or honey, we don't have with us at the moment. We have Thursday, so we'll try it then. But right now we're uh, straining the pomegranate it's gonna take forever. liquid that it's clearly going to take forever, so we're going to probably find like another better way to do, this. to do this. <laughs> okay, so here we have the book cover for the Psalms and the illustration that I did. I used green leaves and green vinery to symbolize the green pastures in the Psalms that was quoted. I also used purple because it was written by David and he was royalty. And then I also did it was a paintbrush because the quill pen wasn't working on this side of the parchment. And then I turned it over and we have our initials that have been rubricated and all pretty. And I just did some little doodles to make it even more pretty. Okay, we're pricking and ruling the pages right now. So Kevin, what he's doing is we are measuring out the margins, the half inch on the side and then the full inch here. 
Um, you've seen in our previous video how we decided on the sizes of the page, and now we are measuring out the columns. Our requirement for our class was that we had to have columns on ours. And so instead of pricking with knives or uh, an awl or any kind of sharp object, we are just using a pencil and a ruler, which is just as effective for our purposes. And we are making half inch margins. And then, um, then we're going to start uh, transferring the script over. So this is how we did it. Just a ruler and a pencil. This is a video about the actual writing process. So once we had the, the parchment cut and sized and ruled, as you can see, we used a pencil and a ruler like we had before on our mock-up, we actually began to write. Now since we had three different scripts and three different languages, we couldn't write them all at once because our professor wanted them to be in three different rows. So we have the first, um, the first author or scribe wrote down their first um, row. But obviously, we didn't all finish at certain times depending on our schedules. So what we would do is we'd cover up parts of that had been already written, and we would um, we'd write on so that we wouldn't smudge each other's writing. Um, something that was very handy to know about was that you know sometimes the ink doesn't exactly go on easily. As you can see, there's smudges in parts of our manuscript. Um, so what was very helpful to have was a, a rag that was wet so that you could just quickly wipe it off. Um, you know, with enough water it'll come off. We used just standard black India ink because our ink um, didn't actually work, um, our homemade ink. So that was just pretty easy. bought it for like $4 at Joann's. And then um, occasionally though, however, on this side of the manuscript um, on the parchment there were blobs because um, we found that it needed to be sanded with first 80 grit and then 120 grit and then 220 grit sandpaper to make it smooth enough like this other side of the um, manuscript to write on. So, uh, words to the wise, make sure that these are sufficiently sanded and smooth with like kind of a plasticky feeling before you begin to write because otherwise they won't provide an adequate writing surface and you'll get blots that cannot um, be removed. So, this is part of the writing process.